I'm really excited. I'm standing in some buffalo grass that Dr. Hoyle and, and I have been, really been, been championing over the past couple years. Uh, looking at establishment of buffalo grass, looking at the tolerance of it to traffic and everything. And my personal project has been looking at the establishment. I've been looking at, okay, we have this, uh, this infrastructure around Kansas of all these courses and homes with tall fescue. Is there a way that, that we can get them transferred over to buffalo grass in, in a shorter window uh, to give them some water savings, to give them uh, some reduced inputs with nitrogen and, and herbicides and fungicides, and, and really still have an attractive lawn and, and not have that long dead period? So the, pro, uh, the, the project that I'm actually in right now, we were looking at glyphosate timings uh, from tall fescue into buffalo grass. So this is really, uh, you're looking at applications of glyphosate before, which is, has been really common. Uh, you know, your four weeks, your three weeks, two, one. Uh, but then also we're looking at applications on the day of seeding, or two days after, or four days after, or seven days after, because what this allows is maybe you have a little bit of weed breakthrough. This is a great option, so that way you can come in, clean some of those weeds up uh, without having to use maybe the more expensive herbicides, uh, or, or maybe some of the herbicides that might be uh, ding up your buffalo grass a little bit. In these plots right here, uh, uh, right in front of me, I have a one that was sprayed uh, two weeks before seeding, and then it didn't receive any application after that. And, and while this is a year later, there's a little bit more weed encroachment and stuff. You can see that we still received a great, uh, great buffalo grass establishment from that. And as you go on, you start to see uh, this is two weeks before seeding and then zero days, uh, that, that on seeding application. So it showed that we still had a safe application of glyphosate, which people tend to get very, very nervous about applying glyphosate or Roundup as some people might know it on their, uh, on seeding or, or close to it because they're just nervous about uh, killing it. Um, and then we have two days after seeding, still in that two weeks before, and then four days after seeding. And then finally, the seven days after seeding, which the seven days still filled in by the, uh, by the end of the summer, but it just showed a little bit of lag where I'd be nervous to ever tell anybody to try to use that. This was really more a looking at a, a more non-invasive way to get the buffalo grass to establish, reduce the amount of time that the lawn or golf course is dead, uh, which you know can reduce uh, runoff if for heavy rains, and just reduce the, the decline of aesthetics and everything while still achieving that great buffalo grass establishment that we're looking for from this.